Hey everyone, um, earlier today uh, I had been um, doing some things and it made me realize a few financial um, paradoxes, if you will. Um, so, uh, I, I was thinking about getting another car, um, but I realized that there were a number of stresses in the past year that I owned a car and um, I didn't want to deal with that again, so um, I... Uh, I'm getting a scooter soon, uh, 50cc, uh, which I can use for my everyday commute. I don't commute very far, and for the longer trips, like when I do a road trip or something, I'll probably rent a car or maybe um, do ride sharing on Craigslist, or if it's really far, like going to see my girlfriend, I'll just fly. I mean, I, I had a lot more fun experiences flying. It It's hard to remember, though. Uh, it, it's kind of funny, because we always want to remember the bad events. I mean, I, I'm sure I had a lot more good events flying than bad ones, but the bad ones really stick out. Anyways, I had gone online to pay for the scooter, and I had enough money. It was a used scooter. It was only 600 bucks. And uh, I definitely had enough money to pay for it, but my credit card company wants to act up and, and think that somebody stole the credit card. And it's a Sunday, so getting a hold of anybody is just crazy. And um, I finally um, get it done with. But you know what the most frustrating part is that, um, you know, sometimes I'll want something, but don't have the money for it, and I'll just have to wait. Um, for example, um, I definitely want a better computer to, to work on my computer games. Uh, I could certainly use more RAM. Uh, I haven't been able to do that yet. Uh, but I can sit at home and daydream about it and accept that uh, I'll, someday I'll have it, just not now. Uh, but when I do have the money, but for some reason I can't get what it is I want, maybe it's not available, maybe my credit card's getting declined, uh, maybe I have the money, but my credit limit's not high enough. See, I don't want to be using a check to buy th these things, you know, just in case anything goes wrong. And uh, my credit limit's not that high. Uh, sometimes I want to buy a big ticket item, like uh, maybe a thousand ounce silver bar or something like that. And I can't put that on my credit card. It makes me uneasy. You know, uh, I bought the one from Atmax, by the way, so that wasn't too bad. But if I were buying from a private seller, I probably wanted to use a credit card. Uh, and so, so, so basically what I'm saying is I, I hate it more when I have the money but it's illiquid than when I don't have the money at all. You know, I can sit at home and daydream about all the nice computers or cars that I want. You know, I can daydream about a Ferrari. It doesn't bother me. You know, but when I do have the money for the Ferrari and my bank account gets frozen or something, that's going to bother me a lot. Oh, and then I was thinking about the scooter. Oh, when I was checking the gas mileage, it's, it's ridiculously high. I probably can get even higher than that because I love to play these games. So they're called hypermiling. Um, but I was thinking one of the stresses, and I hope I get over this stress because it's going to come up again when I get the scooter. One big stress I have is that I love to time when and where I get gas to get a really good deal. Which you would think is not a big problem, but I spend way too much mental energy on it. it, it it's affecting, when I was working, it was affecting my work. When I was dating, it was affecting my relationships. You know, my girlfriend and I would be somewhere, and then I would be like, oh, let's, let's get two gallons of gas. And then tomorrow we'd run out, and then I'd get two more gallons waiting for the gas price to drop. And, uh, or, you know, it, it just affects, you know, I'd, it, it, I'd be in the middle of a big project, and I'd be worried that, you know, Am I going to make my car all the way home tonight when I go home from work, you know? And uh, it, it, it's a bother. And then I sit down and do the math, and I realize I'm only saving 10 bucks a year, 20 bucks a year, and I vow to myself, i got to stop playing this game. But the next day I go out, I see gas prices higher than I expect. I'm like, ah, oh, I, I, let's get three gallons and hope they go down. And, and, and it's just a never-ending cycle, even though I know how little I'm saving. Oh, I think I just, I'm just a day trader, you know, by, you know, by blood, it seems like. Oh, anyway, so I, I just wonder if you guys have any financial paradoxes you love to share. Thanks for watching.